morning, everyone. Today we are going to be starting a new piece of furniture. I think I know which one I'm gonna pick, but I'll take you with. I am gonna be going over to my storage shed and picking out a piece. It's all unfinished inventory in there. So let's go. So the reason that I use my pickup to literally drive across the yard is because the piece that I plan on picking up has multiple pieces with it. And I don't really want to walk in 20 degree weather without wind chill um, three or four times back and forth. So I'll open this guy up and yeah, let's go in there. Also disclaimer, it maybe is a little bit hoarder house looking because, well, you gotta have inventory. Well, here we are. This is not supposed to be facing this way so that I can actually walk through there. But I have aisles, three different sections of furniture. Yeah, so this works really well because then when someone says, oh, I want a buffet, I can be like, oh, I have this one and this one on hand that I can do in whatever color you like. I want a dresser, you know, just, just things like that. It works out really well. And my plan is to do this little bar set here. Uh, that's my plan for today. So let's go get this baby loaded up. <laughs> Good morning, Toby. Just like that, we're loaded up. Pull her up to the workshop. Funny thing is, is actually for the first two years that uh, we did furniture, we didn't have a garage door opener on this building. So you had to manually pull it open and shut. If it wasn't such a huge garage door, it would have been so much easier, but it was actually really hard. And we finally just broke down and bought one. And let me tell you, every time I click that button, very, very thankful. <laughs> in the heat now. Yes, this bar table only has three stools. Not worried about it because it will be perfect to be up against a wall then and still get three seats in a small little table. It definitely has been used. So the plan is to sand down all of what is currently wood and that will be restained. Then the bottom, which is black, I'm actually very happy that it's black because whatever color I choose to paint the bottom again, uh, I can sand it enough that the black will shine through and it will be extremely pretty and very rustic and charming. We're gonna get to sanding now. Uh, also, I do not have to sand all of the black down to bare wood because I don't because I will be painting it again. And if you sand enough of it and you've done this enough times, you know how much you need to sand and how much you don't. all of the scratches and gouges in it. It's actually really pretty. If you look at it next to the extreme oranginess that it used to be, great improvement. On to the bottom. dusty, but I still got the stools to do. Three little guys to go.
just like that. Our stools are all sanded. Our table is sanded. So let's take it over and start taping and painting. Beautiful mask lines I'm sure I have on my face, but I'd rather have that for 20 minutes than my lungs get filled up with toxic things and die. Anyway, we are over in the paint shop. I am now going to tape off all of the wood uh, and plastic it so that I can use my sprayer to paint the bottoms. And then I think I'm actually gonna stick with, I think, white. It'll be a distressed white so you'll see this black through it. I think it'll be really pretty. So, that's what we're doing. Now I'm gonna get to painting the base. We are all clean and the paint gun is loaded. So let's get these babies painted. to record that part so it looked the exact same as the video before only a little more coverage so we are pretty good in white now my plan is to get my sander back and I'm actually going to sand pretty much every part that I already sanded and to get this really unique distress kind of authentic looking finish so here we go cool finish after all that sanding and distressing um, it's a very I actually really really like the way it turned out that's why I didn't need totally full coverage on the white because I was going to be sanding so much of it off so now I'm going to take the plastic off the tops and stain the tops and then once that's all cured I will clean up the bottoms and then everything will get all right, all of the tape and plastic is off so I think I'm going to use this Varathane aged wood accelerator um it's more of a not all perfectly one color which is kind of what I want I want a really rustic look with this so I'm totally good with the aged wood look and let's see how it turns out So this is actually, it's a lot different than a normal wood stain. This you put it on and you don't wipe it off, you let it just dry. Uh, normally I'm used to wiping everything off, but if you look at the difference here, you see how if this is currently drying, this is going to have such a cool aged wood effect instead of it all looking just like this, where this has just freshly been done, it's all solid one color. Um, I'm really excited because I think that this is going to turn out really, really well. So, in an hour I'll come back out and check and see if I like it or if I want to do one more coat. This maybe doesn't look like a lot of snow that fell off of the roof. But that's quite difficult to uh, pull furniture over on a dolly. I'm very happy with the color in this camera. 
Jeez, it looks blotchy, but let me tell you, it's actually really nice, a really nice color. So I'm gonna keep it. coat of sealant. Um, I have not videoed all of them because on dining sets there is five coats and it would get to be a little bit too much for you guys to watch and probably boring. So gonna go to the last one. Just like that, we're all done. So pretty. Very happy with how it turned out. Staging and picture time. Thanks for following along again, everybody. Come back next time.